People are going off about pit bulls. They specifically talked about banning pit bulls. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. It gets a little frustrating, but you have to realize that people have misconceptions and uh, they just don't know about pit bulls. Because of the reaction post Nicholas Favish um, and the, just the inflammatory and the images and everyone's emotional and frightened and terrified, um, it was a perfect opportunity to pass bad legislation in an effort to ultimately ban the breed. You can't ban on the basis of possibility of doing behavior. It would be really directly analogous to finding out that in fact a certain category of people um, is at higher risk to commit a crime. Therefore, we have to lock them all up before they do it. And that's just not our, how our society runs, at least not how our society aspires to run. Have you ever met a pimple? Every single one of the people that are terrified of pimples have never met a pimple. They would be surprised to meet a really mean pit bull. Almost all the pit bulls I know are like Buddy uh, rather than, you know, the ones you hear about in the media. If the myths continue to be perpetuated, pit bulls bite more. Their jaws lock. Well, actually, no. They're innately violent animals. Great guard dogs. You can fight them. Uh, you'll look tough with them. The best thing to do is look at history of what the monster dogs were. It used to be German Shepherds, and then Doberman Pinsers, and then Rottweilers. There's always been a dog that's been responsible for all the awful things. They get this name of being a vicious dog, of being a bad dog, attacking kids. We've noticed that a lot of dogs like to attack him, and so he's usually the one being attacked. It's not him attacking others, and when he is attacked, then He's just really good at like moving back and just showing that respect that he's there to play and not, you know, be aggressive. Poe does have stranger issues because he was abused and that's terrible. But um, for the most, like Puddin, she loves people. She yeah. has her issues with submissive younger females. Dogs. Um, <laughs> dogs, <laughs> not people. As a breed, they're really very loyal, uh, very good with humans, and um, amazingly sweet dogs. What attracted us to him was that they said he was super mellow and that he was already trained and that he loved um, cats for friends, not snacks. <laughs> They're, they just, they love kids. Okay, put out your hands. Okay, you're gonna let him lick it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is tolerant for a pit or who has experience with a pit, you'll see that it's divided by race and class, I think. Well, I think that they look at the dog, they look at me, and I don't think that they think about it too much, frankly, to be honest. Plus, frankly, I live in an area where it's pretty diverse in El Cerrito. Um, a lot of people have a lot of different dogs. There are a lot of educated people, and I think the educated types of people who are less likely to um, make issues over a specific breed. Hysteria and fear is such a powerful thing. A lot of people, um, especially when the three of us walk our dogs together, they'll like clear to the other side of the street. And they scoop up their kid and they walk across the road. Yeah, walking down the street with two pit bulls is always interesting. People cross the street to get away from him. They raise their eyebrows a little bit. They say, well, why do you have that kind of dog? I said, well, she needed a home. The animal shelters are trying to decide, in the case of an unknown source dog, whether it's a pit bull. None of this is based on good understanding of morphology or genetics. Usually it's just, well, this is our experience. Um, and so that puts people in a very tough place, because essentially you're making uh, dog lovers and people who love animals in the role of executioner. Pit bulls have a 24-hour window where they can get adopted from the shelters, um, from the public, and otherwise they get euthanized. We're in San Francisco um, in an alley that we like to bring the dogs to so they can just play together. The biggest thing, and it's, it's this way with every dog, is socialization. Oh, they go to the dog park every day. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, they have to. I mean, I feel like if you're going to have a good dog, exercise. exercise. As a pit bull owner, you need to be prepared to be able to speak on the value of the breed even beyond your dog. The more we can be ambassadors for the breed and they are indeed friendly. There'll be people who'll be like, is he friendly? Because they sort of sense that he's friendly, that they're afraid of pit bulls, but they'll give him a shot. And almost always they leave that interaction by saying, wow, I didn't know they could be so nice. She's so happy. Every time I see her and I look at her and she just provides 
endless hours of love, I think that she wouldn't be here if I weren't there to take her out of the shelter.